article that came out on NBC News July 11th, 2018. New synthetic opioids are killing even more people, CDC says. And now remember, you're never going to get the real true numbers. Overdose victims may need extra naloxone, the agency warns. And see, this, these are the hazmat suits they have to wear because so many police officers and DEA agents have come in contact with fentanyl and had to be rushed to the hospital for overdose. Okay. <clears throat> New synthetic opioids are killing more people than ever before, with more than half of all opioid overdose deaths caused by the powerful lab-made drugs officials say, and this was uh, Wednesday, so this is a pretty recent story. The Center for Disease Control issued a health alert network warning about the increased supplies of illicit drugs, which are many times stronger than fentanyl, the prescription painkiller. The dramatic rise in the supply of illicit manufactured uh, fentanyl and fentanyl analogs have been mirrored by an equally a dramatic rise in deaths involving synthetic opioids other than methadone, a category which includes fentanyl and fentanyl analogs, the CDC said in its alert. Death rates doubled between 2015 and 2016, the CDC said. More than 55% of opioid overdose deaths occurring nationally in the 12 months ending November 2017, involved synthetic opioids accounted for more than 27,000 overdose deaths, the CDC said in a health alert, citing preliminary numbers. That is up from 20,000 overdose deaths from synthetic opioids in 2016. People who overdose on synthetics may need uh, multiple doses of norloxone. All right. <clears throat> okay. So, you know, again, all of these um, fentanyl analogs are coming from China. And they don't know how to control this thing at all. All right. All right, new drugs include carfentanil, that's the um, tranquilizer that's used for large animals, like your elephants and rhinoceros, and these folks are taking that mess and dying. Other illicit synthetic opioids include fentanyl, fentanyl, and acryl fentanyl. Finally, a drug submissions test positive for synthetic illicit opioids known for U-47700, which is known as pink, by the way. Some new drugs may not be detected by standard test, and coroners and medical examiners may need to use a mass spectrometer to detect the substances. That is ridiculous of what they have to go through just to detect all of these different substances that's in a dead body. That's ridiculous. The U.S. is suffering through a terrible plague of opioid abuse. Opioids include prescription opioids and heroin killed 42,000 people. We know they're downplaying the numbers. Opioid overdose deaths are so bad that they have helped drive down U.S. life expectancy. And see, that's how you know it's way more severe than what they're telling you. If 42,000 people died, how is that going to drive down the UF, U.S. life expectancy? That's not enough people to drive it down. So, you know, just put two and two together. It would have to be a massive amount of people dying in order for it to drive down the life expectancy. 42,000 people would never put a dent in life expectancy. That's too small of a number. 
Okay, let's go down a little. Ohio alone reported more than 1,700 opioid overdose deaths tested positive for fentanyl analogs during July 2016, June 2017. More than 1,100 of those deaths involve carfentanil. So that's the elephant tranquilizers that those people died from along, probably mixed with other drugs, more likely. Emergency responders and physicians may not know what people overdosing on synthetics may need extra care, the CDC said. Orally ingesting counterfeit pills laced with fentanyl or fentanyl analogs may require prolonged dosing of norloxone in the um, ED, that's the emergency room uh, hospital setting due to a delay in toxicology that has been reported in some cases, the CDC said. Ladies and gentlemen, they are never gonna stop downplaying these numbers. Like I said, it's a lot of shame that they feel that they can't control this um, plague that's going on in the country. You know, they've waited until millions and millions of people are abusing this stuff to start crying foul. They should have done that maybe over a decade ago Perhaps they would be better off today, but calling it public health and talk about, well, these people shouldn't go to jail. They, they got a problem. They got to get out of here. You didn't say all of that during the crack epidemic, but please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen, please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace family.